Well, good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday, um, October 25th. Yep. And I uh, figured I would start the process of doing some vlogging of my own air conditioner replacement project. So, Project Rareden, I guess if I'm gonna follow my project name, nomenclature. I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview and then just realistically just go through everything as much as I can have the patience to deal with. Everything about changing out my own air conditioning system, heating and air conditioning. This is my attic. I have put in more lighting than was here originally. Originally, I just had one light right here which was fine because there was only flooring right where I'm sitting but I have added some more flooring back here behind me so I could store some other crap um, it was primarily for like my TV box my iMac box PlayStation you know boxes for consoles and TVs and stuff but obviously I've added to it since then over here behind you is my current air conditioning unit it's a york diamond 80 three ton and the system was started up august 14th of 2000 i have done a little bit of modification to the system since i moved in generally speaking it hasn't changed significantly the evaporator coil is a half box coil where the cabinet for the coil does not cover the total evaporator a coil so it actually reaches into the plenum a little bit both of the zone dampers have failed since we moved in and i haven't been terribly worried about putting it back together neatly uh, but this is where she sits there's a side box coming out of the side of the furnace under that flooring and then another side over here there are two returns and a zone system bypass on the back of the furnace I have added a return to the master bedroom because of the fact that the suction from the returns slammed the bedroom door every night this flooring here is new i had originally intended to put my furnace in this area because that's where my vent pipe is and gas lines and everything but then i got to thinking that i may not have enough room to fit everything here and if I put the unit one place or another maybe I won't have enough room to service it so I came over to this other space and decided to floor that I put some two by sixes across and used full three-quarter thick plywood rather than particle board and you know just set it up to where I think it'll be pretty good the only issue being even here I'm not a hundred percent sure where I want to put the furnace I think it makes most sense to put the supply this direction simply because I won't have a whole lot of reason to get over there and that leaves this wall or this center beam as a straight line for everything to line up against um, but anyway I'm basically just gonna get some measurements today to see what my new system is gonna take up so that I can get some ducting ready sat here and talked to myself and the wife for a while and 
came up with the idea that I'm going to put the system on this side of the attic space. Because if I put it where I'm sitting now, I won't have a whole lot of room once I stretch the system out to fit a person through for servicing. It may change how I had hoped that I could make things work a little bit, but I think in the end, servicing will be much simpler. So the return of the system is going to sit on the far end and the supply is going to blow back this way. Um, as I go along on the project, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.